welcome back to the Anointed Abby Kimani. You are watching Ask Abby, where I answer the questions that you guys ask in this bowl. And I've not had these questions before, actually. This is the first time I'm hearing them. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer. As for now, question number one. <laughs> Still do that. Dear Abby, why did you decide to do what you are doing now in your life? Well, everybody has their own talent, their own calling, and it's what God meant for them to do, right? So I feel like this is what God is God meant for me to do. That's why I started doing it. And everyone has it, as I've said before. So you can start your own thing using your own talent. <laughs> yes. Question number two. Dear Abby, what is the most impactful no you've ever said in your life? Hmm. <laughs> do I do it? I've not really like. I've not made like, you know, such big life-changing decisions with the no but i i can't really think of anything like you know so big because <laughs> believe it or not the most times i say no is like you know like if you're like my agent you know like when you're in school let's say it's break time and if people are boring you <laughs> are boring food from you excuse my english and you know it's hard to say no but sometimes i say no so like that's kind of impactful to me because I don't, I've not really been faced with such a big decision. But if I have, I'll, I'll, make, I'll make, I might make a video about it. <laughs> but nothing that serious has happened so far. Question number three. <laughs> hey, Abby. What was the most stressful experience in your recent life? Well, it's not in my recent life, but oh my god. When we were in school, when like we were back in school, we used to be loaded with a lot of homework. You come home, you have homework from all the subjects. Some subjects is both classwork and homework. Sometimes like I sleep at, let's say like 11. And then like I wake up again at like two or three to finish the work and then I'm not even finished. So after I go to school, I have to go to school and then I finish before the teacher comes and starts teaching. And let's say one of the subjects that I'm not finished is the one that the teacher is teaching. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? So like it's it's stressful. One of the reasons why I don't really want to go back to school. But I, I guess you have to deal with it. <laughs> deal with it but it's it's not so bad if you really arrange your time but sometimes it's it's just bad especially when you're told when maliza when maliza says like we had a says like yeah how many minutes until the next class like 15 what's the next class assess bye we are gone question number four question <laughs> number four welcome to my life Dear Abby, if you could have a bird as a pet, which one would it be? Well, I wouldn't have a bird as a pet because I want a cat and the cat would probably eat the bird and we also have a dog. But assuming none of that happened, which one would I have? I really like don't, I don't feel like I would pick a type. But there are those brown birds, those like very common actually, I don't know the type, but they are small and brown and have like kind of like a white patch over here. They are very common, you can find them literally almost anywhere. And I like those birds actually, they are really cute and nice. By the way, do you, do you know there's this one time when I used to live like in Kimati Estate, like they just get to the estate and one time I saw a bird and I'm like, oh, I'm she. I realized that it's not flying and it's very close to people. So I'm like, oh, what if it's hot? Let me take it home. So like I kept chasing it. It would pass through the bars of the gate and I had to go around because I can't fit through them. And then it would pass again. So we kept going like that to get, like, we chase each other. And then it finally 
like the first house had a dog it finally like somehow flew and got into that compound next thing i know it has been eaten by the dog so maybe it's my fault that, that bad died but let's not talk about that <laughs> question number five hi abby does the holy spirit work in non-christians well yes actually he does he speaks to he can help you you know that feeling that you have you know i shouldn't do this that's the holy spirit and he can work through anyone whether christian or not and that's how he convicts people and you find people are becoming christian because of the holy spirit yeah oh that's five questions i hope you have enjoyed today's episode of ask abby if you have any questions please post them in the comment section down below i'd be really happy to answer as for now bye